Good morning, beautiful pearls. This is Jemima from Awakened Positive Power. Just going to make my way back to the mat. As you shall do so too. Yes, this is Power Pilates in the desert. There are 40 mile per hour winds today, so I am not outside. <laughs> it happened last week too. I think this is the apparently the um, windy season. I, this is my first month here in this, uh, in this beautiful land, so it's all quite new to me. But as I've told you before, I'm here to be as authentic as possible, create a safe space to, for us to exercise, connect our mind, body, and spirit, and to have a little bit of fun together. I welcome and honor you being here with me today. Thank you so much for being here. Power Pilates in the Desert from Awakened Positive Power. Hope you guys are well. Just before we get started, a couple of things. There is a disclaimer down below. Please check it out. And of course, please share, like, and subscribe if you would do so. That helps me spread this channel to other people who may like to join and become a part of our wonderful community. I am just starting this out. So I, obviously my um, technology is not advanced, but that shouldn't hinder us from doing anything. I can still get, take you through a wonderful Power Pilates class. Now, uh, a couple of things. The deep breathing is in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you inhale through your nose, your rib cage is kind of going to expand. As you exhale, you're going to contract those muscles so the air squeezes out of your mouth. I will be setting a certain pace, but my, the idea is to not go any faster. That'd be great. But you can go as slow as you want. And if your body needs time out, please take time out. Listen to your body. If it starts to ache or feel a little tight, that's your body saying, uh uh. So in this class, we don't force anything. We take some time out, we regroup, and we come back. I'm still going to be here. Uh, and what else? Um, the sets are about one minute each around that. Uh, it's not how many you do. It is more about your form and about using the control of your powerhouse, your center of strength, your abdominal area during this class. So be mindful of that. If this is one of your first classes, the first time is always a charm. I am Australian, so I speak a little differently and also my accent and I speak a little fast. So I suggest you're forced to come back and try it again. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Anyway, my angels, let's get started. It's so wonderful to have you here today. Power Pilates in the desert. And uh, so let's just start sitting tall. Get comfortable. And I'd like you to move your butt cheeks. So we're sitting on our the tip of face of our spine. Nice, tall, straight spine. Let's take a couple of deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. Filling yourself up with a good, warm, positive energy and exhaling any tension you may feel in your body. Exhale that warm energy into that part of your body. So inhale, warm, positive energy, expanding your abdominals. Then as we exhale that warm energy into any part of your body, it may feel a little tight or tense. Inhale. And exhale. Bringing our palms together in the center of our heart. Closing our eyes. Setting an intention for a good workout. A peaceful workout. And enjoying bringing our mind, body, and spirit together as a community in this workout. Deep breath in love. Feel that love expand your heart, so much so you exhale love as well. Inhale love for yourself, your commitment, your dedication to turning up today. Feel that expand in your heart and then exhale love to the universe. One more deep inhale love for yourself. Feel that expand in your heart, lighten up. And then exhale that beautiful, warm love to the universe. So we are surrounded by love, externally and internally, ready to tackle this Power Pilates class. So we're going to be doing some traditional Pilates today, guys. Let those hands go. Turn your body around, placing your heels onto the mat, arms nice and strong out in front. We're going to roll our pelvis. Tuck it under. So tuck your belly button back towards your spine. We're doing one roll down. As you feel like your legs want to come off the floor, let them roll down to a 90 degree angle with your legs. Palms will end up facing flat on the mat. If you have a sore neck, place your head on the floor and your arms on the floor. If you don't have a sore neck, lift your head from your abdominals 
and then lift those arms. We're going to do a traditional 100 breath. It's five short breaths in, five short breaths out. We pump our arms as a consequence of our core contracting. This is to warm us up, guys. So we're going to stay solid in this position. Here we go. Three, two, one. And in, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. In through the nose and out through the mouth. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Keeping that 90 degree angle nice and tight. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Working your core, pumping it. And out, two, three, four, five. In, two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Out, two, three, four, five. Hold it here. And release knees into your chest. Gently rock yourself, relax those feet side to side, do a massage of your lower back. Slowly starting to feel our body warm up a little here. Yeah? Then what I'd like you to do is bring those heels on the mat and we're going to climb a rope to come up sitting. So bring, place your chin on your chest and roll. Climb this rope. Inhale up, two, three, four. Beautiful. Bring your feet together. Take your hands underneath your knees. Sit nice and tall. Take, uh, roll back a little so your heels are off the mat. Then take your legs straight out in front of you. Slide your legs down to either your ankles or your calf muscles or your feet, depending on where you can. And flex your feet, sit nice and tall. This is a warm up, guys. So we're sitting here, finding our balance. Elbows locked in, knees locked in. Breathing, let's point these toes now. Inhaling and exhaling. Trying to let the body collapse. Keep going, guys. I'm just going to get my clock so I don't mind my hand going back behind me. Beautiful. So we can keep an eye on the time, otherwise, we'd be here all day. Holding it, guys. This is part of your warm up. So be mindful of staying really still, belly button back towards the spine, toes pointed, core engaged. Beautiful. Inhaling and exhaling. The last 10 seconds, we're going to take our hands away. Keep the legs where they are, but roll back down vertebrae by vertebrae to a flat back. So here we go. Take the hands away then start to roll your core. Keep your legs where they are. Roll the top part of your body down. Keep the legs where they are. Inhaling and exhaling as you wish. Keep the legs where they are to a flat back and then legs under the sun and release. Beautiful work, guys. Big circle with your knees in one direction. Massage that back. And then big circles around the other way, guys. Awesome. Little intermission in between each exercise to recharge, to check in on how our body is feeling. So important. Okay, guys, once again, place your heels on the floor. Let's climb this rope up to sitting here. So the chin, on your, chin is on your chest. Feel each vertebrae. You climb up, two, three, four. Beautiful. Now bring your feet to a diamond so the legs look like a little diamond. And then take your hands underneath your ankles. So take them under and then grab your ankles. Then sit tall, lock your elbows in. Let me just turn a little bit around. Lock your elbows in. This is called a seal. Uh, we're going to be rolling. So firstly, sit back a little bit so your feet come off the floor. Find your balance. The idea is to keep those elbows locked in. We domino effect our roll back to our shoulder blades on an inhale. Keeping the knees as wide apart as possible. We exhale up to this position, finding our balance. So we inhale back, exhale back up. Inhale to your shoulder blades, exhale. Use your breath. Keep those knees as far away from each other as possible. Lock your elbows in. Remember, we're not, we're not rolling. Our core muscles are taking us down vertebrae by vertebrae, and then the exhale assists us to come vertebrae by vertebrae back up to sitting. Inhale down, exhale. Find your balance. If you fall out of it, no stress. Awesome. You're working your core no matter what you're doing. So make sure you ooh, listen to your body. I did. <laughs> Breathe, deep breathing. Inhale back. Have a little moment between each roll to find that balance. Locking those elbows in, almost there. Shh. 
One more, please. One more. Sorry, excuse me. I have my necklace poking me. Beautiful. Stay tall. Now, what I'd like us to do is take your hands away. Keep your feet off the mat. Bring those hands underneath your knees. Uh, I beg your pardon. Let's squeeze the ankles towards our twist. We're going to roll like a ball. You can hold onto your feet if you like. Squeeze yourself really, really tight. Inhale back. Exhale back up. Just notice the difference in your body, how it needs to work. Bring those heels towards your twitch. Inhale back the shoulders. Exhale back up. Tight little ball, tight little ball. Keep your forehead close to your knees. Inhale down to the shoulder blades. Exhale back up. Feel the difference between rolling like a ball and being that seal position. Keep it tight, guys. Looking down at your knees the whole time. Almost there. Let's do two more, please. One more. And release. Beautiful. Have those legs slide out in front of you. Oh, take a deep breath. Excuse me. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, sitting tall. Now have the hands on the side of your thighs. Drop your head. Inhale, roll down. Vertebrae, vertebrae, all the way to the bottom of your legs. When you get there, grab your feet or ankles wherever you can. Use them as a tool to move your body around. Have a little stretch. Beautiful work, guys. Awesome. Gentle, gentle with that body. Paying attention. Twirling out those ankles. <sighs> sitting tall. Sit back up. Awesome work, guys. Okay, so now we're going to do the same sort of thing, but with an open leg, double leg rocker. Okay, so what happens here is our toes are actually going to go all the way behind us and tap that floor, and then we come back up to our legs in a big V. So let's start to get these legs in a nice big V. Uh, bend your knees, grab one ankle and straighten that leg. You can grab onto your foot or your ankle, wherever is good for you. Straighten the leg, then slowly get the other one. If you fall out, we're just getting into position, so not a stress. Point those beautiful toes. Now I want you to open up your legs wide. Lock your elbows in. Lock your knees in. Here we go. We're going to inhale, vertebrae, 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 back. Inhale. Tap those toes. Exhale, back up. Find your balance. Yes. Inhale, over. Tap the toes. Exhale, back up. Find your balance. Keep it going, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Find your flow, guys. Beautiful work. If you fall out of it, laugh. Have a little bit of fun. It's not that serious. We're working our core hard, guys. Exhale, back up. Inhale, over. Exhale, up. Inhale, over. Exhale, up. Inhale, over. Beautiful. Keep going. Go and find your power. Exhale. Beautiful, but like four more. Let's do four more. Inhale. Exhale. Woo! And then we fell out of it. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Woo! Exhale. I just hit the wall. That's okay. <laughs> we work with it. Inhale. Exhale. Up and hold. Take those hands away. Let's tap these legs. Five. Woo! Four. Three, two, and one. Heels down. Beautiful. And sit up straight, guys. Beautiful work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, let's just twist side. Take your um, left hand behind you. Wrap your right arm around. Look over that shoulder. Just a little twist in the center. Breathe through a little intermission. And then switch around to the other side. Beautiful, guys. So what we're gonna do now is some arm work. We're gonna work our shoulders, our arms coming from our abdominal area. So I'd like you to sit with these legs uh, comfortably wide. Not so it hurts, but flex your feet, have these legs engaged. Arms are gonna be out to the side. Uh, we're gonna bounce these balls. So we have basketballs at the end of our hand. Elbows stay locked in, okay? How we tighten these triceps is we drop the shoulders down and squeeze our shoulder blades together. I know you can't really see mine right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so then uh, drop the shoulders, squeeze those shoulder blades and triple bounce these basketballs. Sit tall, nice and tall. Deep breathing. 
You may not feel it the first 10, 20 seconds. Then it kicks in. Your shoulders will feel it. Imagine, keep going, guys. I'm going to show you something. Imagine there is the energy stemming up from the inside of your abdominal area and shooting out through these shoulders and arms. That's how this energy is created. That's how this movement is happening. Sit nice and tall. Keep your feet flexed. The rest of your body is engaged, assisting your core. Beautiful. Awesome. Deep breathing. Sit tall. Woo! Starting to feel it. Ho, ho, ho. Woo keep going, angels. We got this. Yes. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Deepest breathing possible. Reach out with that energy beyond your fingers. Yes, keep your feet flexed. Sitting nice and tall. Expanding your core on your inhales. Contracting on your exhales. We've got 10 seconds, guys. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Deep breathing. 3, 2, up. Oh. And one release. Oh, take a moment, take a moment, relax the body. Feel that zoom, 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 that fire in your shoulders. Yeah, take those hands across your shoulders. Can I also tell you for over 10 years I've been doing that same exercise and it never feels any different. So don't be dissuaded. In other words, I'm not, I'm not like trying to say, yeah, I'm gonna feel like that, but just don't be dissuaded by feeling this working energy shooting through those shoulders. Switch your arms around the other way, guys, please just to level out our body. And if you need to give your neck a little rub too, whatever you feel, you know your body and whatever is assisting you to release tension, please do. We're here to prevent injury, okay? And then shake it out, shake it out. Beautiful work, guys. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a roll down, but it's kind of a different one because we're gonna keep our arms, firstly in line with that, just have a look first, firstly in line with my shoulders. But then when I roll down, my inhale, I'm gonna put my chin down. My arms are gonna stay there. So they end up being in line with my ears. So I'm not actually taking them down. I'm keeping them up in line with my ears. And then when I sit up, they come back in line with my shoulders. Yes? And try and reach as far as you can. So let's sit tall. Drop that chin. We inhale forward. Arms come in line with your ears. And then exhale. Feel the belly button pull back towards your spine as you roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. And then your arms end up in line with your shoulders. Inhale. Drop your chin. Roll forward all the way. Arms in line with your ears. Then exhale, pull the belly button back towards your spine, start rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, arms will end up in line with your shoulders again. Keep going, guys. Extending the energy beyond your hands, sucking that belly button in. Extend the energy all the way from your feet to the top of your head, out through the hands. Woo! Inhale and exhale. Don't forget to suck that belly button back towards your spine to enable you to come up to sitting. One more, please. One more. Oh, the shoulders. Woo! Inhale. And exhale up to sitting. Oh, goodness me. Rotate those shoulders back, please. Beautiful work. Rotate, rotate. Breathe. And around the other way. Woo, nice work, angels. Beautiful work. Shake it out. If you need a little bit more stretching, please do. We're going to come into a propeller. So the idea here is our core muscles are our engine. And our arms, the propellers. But the propellers can't start without an engine. So this is where the energy starts. It twists and then on go our arms. Our pinky finger is going to extend beyond our pinky toe. But... The idea is to keep both butt cheeks on the mat, okay? So if you start to creep off one butt cheek like this, you've gone way too far. Even if you just reach here, that's as far as you can reach, awesome. Just have that energy extend, both butt cheeks on the mat, feet will be flexed, and then we twist. The way we get back up is we suck the belly button, we get pulled back by the belly button, pulling back towards the spine. We rotate these arms on the inhale, and then we exhale, extend. Here we go, inhale, twist, Extend on your exhale. Inhale up and twist. Exhale. Come on, guys, let's go. Keep both butt cheeks on the mat. Feel the engines kickstart these propellers. Then the engine can't go any further, so the arms twist a little further. They go beyond. Exhale. Don't forget to suck the belly button back towards the spine to lift you up. 20 seconds. 
Beautiful, guys. Stay strong. One more each side, please. Feel that engine. Start the propellers. Woo! Inhale. And exhale. Sitting up nice and tall and release. Cross your arms over the shoulders, please. Shake out your legs as you give yourself a little massage. Woo! Be mindful of your body. And when I say shake, don't be really aggressive. Just gently loosen yourself up. We don't want to like shake so we end up pulling a muscle. Okay, so be kind, be gentle. Treat yourself like you would your best friend. I'm sure that'll be kind and gentle. Beautiful, guys. Awesome work going on. Okay, we're going to come to a side on our side. So how we do that, the best way to get into a straight line is to line yourself up with the front of the mat. We all have curves and things going on with our body. So make sure you, it kind of feels a little weird. When you get the straight line, it kind of feels like, oh. Um, push into your pelvis as well. So here we go. We're creating that straight line with our body. Excuse me, I'm hitting the wall. <laughs> Beautiful. Then what we're going to do, once you have the straight line pushing that pelvis, then roll up, have your elbow underneath your shoulder. Still on that straight line, I'm just going to make sure you can see my core. Beautiful. So now the, thing, the idea here is we can easily sink. Look at all this energy. And I wonder why my shoulder's going to be sore. No, no, no. So how do we do that? We lift from our abdominals, lift here. Look at all that energy that is now. I'm not falling into my shoulder. I have my weight in my core. Powerhouse is working. Top arm up. Our uh, top leg is going to turn perpendicular to the bottom. Push into your pelvis. So straight line, looking up at the sun. We're going to raise that top leg up. Then that heel will top the, tap the knee, bottom knee. Inhale back up. Exhale back down. Push into your pelvis, guys. Don't roll back onto your tush. Inhale. Exhale. Working from your abdominals. Try not to sink into the shoulder. Gravity wants to pull you down, correct? Lift up from your core. Great work, keep it going. Watch out for your shoulder. Push into those pelvises. 10 more seconds. One more, please. One more. And release. Beautiful. Take that top leg back onto the bottom. Then that top arm down and slide down to your straight arm, to your straight line, please. Top arm is out in front, purely for balance. Try not to lean into it. We're going to raise that top leg up. You can keep the bottom up, hip level only. You can keep the bottom leg on the mat if you like. If you like more of a challenge, raise the bottom leg about one inch to two inches off the mat. Now this is interesting because we're going to bring the legs. Notice it's staying in line with my hip. I inhale all the way out in front, straight line, then point my toe, exhale all the way back behind until I can't go any further. But I'm not swinging my leg. My core muscles, inhale all the way out in front, then point the toe, exhale all the way behind. Try and keep that leg low. Try not to raise up the back. Flex that foot, inhale all the way out in front. It's kind of like a big semicircle with drawing. Exhale all the way behind, keeping the leg in line with your hip, no higher. Try and relax those hands, inhale. And exhale. Almost there, got about 20 seconds. Beautiful. Slow and controlled angels, beautiful work. Almost there. One more, please. One more. Inhale forward. Exhale back behind. Don't disengage your body. Bring that top leg back on top of the bottom. If the bottom one is not off the floor, raise both. Squeeze them together. Flex feet. Imagine there's a little love hook in your core where I'm pointing to. And it pulses. It pulses. So the legs are a consequence of your contracting your muscles and your abdominals. If you want to challenge, you can take that top arm up. We pulse. Pulse. Pulsing from here. Don't get those hips working too easy. We want to make sure we lift from our core. It's small, it's tight, and the legs aren't dropping, are they, guys? No dropping of legs. Keep them glued together and cut, lift them up and down, up and down, up and down. 20 seconds, come on. Be breathing. Shh. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful. Both legs down, arm down, roll onto your back. Working our way around to the other side. And once that back, we're going to do a banana plank on our way around. So that is legs together, arms down by your side. Raise the top part of your body off the mat and just underneath your breastplate. So you're looking kind of diagonally out in front of you. Chin is not on your chest, a little bit popped up. Then we're going to reach those arms. So feel the core. If this is uh, enough for you, stay here. Make sure your lower back stays on the mat. Otherwise, point your left toe, raise the leg two inches. Point your right toe, raise the leg two inches, glue your legs together. It's like we're in a ski toboggan and they're scooting down that snow really, really fast. But their core is engaged, their lower back is flat on that toboggan, their legs are pushing that energy, arms are reaching, and they're going fast. We hold for 10. Breathe, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slide those heels down and then up. We're going to climb this rope up. Four counts. Four, three, two, one, beautiful. Gently swing those legs around to the other side. Yes. Try to get you as smoothly there as possible. <laughs> so we're going to create that straight line, guys. Create that straight line with your body first. So pushing into the pelvis, making sure you line up in front of the mat. Hips, breasts, tush, all of those sort of things are in line with each other. The arm as well. When we slide up onto that arm, the elbow comes directly underneath our shoulder. Just going to make sure you can kind of see my lower abdominals. Beautiful. Now, remember, we can sink with all this energy. Now, my shoulder hurts, no wonder. That's how we watch television. We're not in television. We're lifting up. We are in flights. Turn the top leg perpendicular to the bottom. Take the top arm up if you want a little bit more um, intensity. Working from our abdominals, we inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Push into your pelvis, guys. Make sure you're not falling back into that tush. Sit tall, I can feel gravity pulling me down that shoulder. So it's inhale, inhale up, exhale, tap that knee, inhale, straight leg up, exhale, back down, keep it going. Nice work, keep going, don't sink. I'm finding myself sinking. That's okay, we just correct ourselves, yeah? Nothing wrong, nothing wrong with what we're doing. We are here, we are winners already, guys. We're amazing. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, arm down, slide that bottom arm out, keep that straight line. Remember to relax that bottom arm, top arm out in front, purely for balance. Raise the top leg up, a couple of inches to hip level. Bottom leg can stay on the mat or it can come up about an inch. Here we go, we're gonna inhale, straight leg out all the way in front, the flex foot. Then we point the toe, exhale, keep the leg low, in line with the hip and drag it all the way behind. Keep the rest of the body still. Inhale out in front, exhale. Keeping that leg in line with the hip. Try not to move your rest of your body. Inhale, exhale, keep it going guys, nice work. Got about 25 seconds. Looking good, angels. Beautiful work. Keep your positive power. You, what you are doing, what you can do, what you're willing to do, that's all that matters. Inhale. You are awesome. You are beautiful. You are strong. One more, please. One more. Inhale. Exhale behind. Now bring that top leg on top of the bottom. Bring the bottom leg up to meet the top. It wasn't already there. Have a little love hook. We pulse. Pulse. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, expand, contract, expand, contract. Don't let the legs drop. You can take the top arm up if you like. A little bit more challenge or balance. Nice work. 20 seconds. Come on, we got this. Breathe, guys. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, beautiful, five, four, three, two, and one, legs down, arm down, beautiful, turn onto your back, I'm just going to spin around for the camera seat, you can stay where you are, ladies and gentlemen, and just take a little savasana, have a little time out, just breathe, check in on your body, and then carefully bring those feet on either side of your mat. The wider the feet are, the deeper the stretch will be. We'll just have a little stretch to regroup our body. Drop both knees to one side. Take your hand to your lower back, your tush, your hip. Give yourself a little massage. And when you finish that massage, take that, same, that arm up overhead, push into your hip and stretch with the arm. It's an active stretch to begin with. Hold on to that push. Three, two, one, and then carefully relax. Ah. Nice. Arm comes down, feet stay where they are on either side of the mat. Come to the other side of those knees, push into that top hip, and then take that hand first in, massage that lower back, hip. If you feel any tension, just release it. This is to prevent injury, guys. The bonus is it feels good, but really we do it to prevent injury. So get in there and make sure you feel okay. And then when you're ready, take the same side arm overhead, push and pull with the arm, push with the hip, hold three, two, one, and then gently release. Ah. Awesome, arm comes down, knees come back to center. <clears throat> We're gonna place those heels on the mat. We're gonna climb up this rope again, climbing up, two, three, four, beautiful. We're gonna be doing a seated explosion. So how we do this, guys, I know it sounds kind of dramatic, is we're gonna sit back tall like we did the rolling of the ball, heels are off the mat. <clears throat> we're gonna end up rolling down, make sure you don't have your head near a wall. So we're gonna come down, inhale, and then we exhale up and explode. So then we inhale down to a tight little ball, exhale up, explode, everything explodes, Ex expand, expand, expand your core, uh, expand your arms and legs from your core. Inhale down, exhale, explode. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, keep going guys, three, nice work, two, and one more, one more and release, heels down, arms down, nice work guys, let's have these hands roll down our legs, just have a little stretch, a little back stretch, grab those feet, use them as a tool to help you stretch out your back. We're going to be coming into a rollover, that's where we will take our legs over our head. If you don't want to do that, you're more than welcome to do these exercises on your back with your legs straight up to the sun. Please be mindful, know your body, don't force anything. You can try one and if it doesn't feel right, don't, don't do it, just lie on your back and do the exercises. Still working your core, okay guys? So what I want us to do is, once again, start rolling like a ball, just roll, have fun, swing your legs, swing those legs, and just follow what I say, guys. Next time you roll, take your legs over the head. Take your hands to your lower back. Then walk your hands down your lower back so your legs end up shooting up towards the sun. So it's like a shoulder span. Walk your hands down even more. Push into that lower back so you feel those hips, uh, your legs sit on those hips. Once you have that position, take your legs over your face. So we're trying to create a 90 degree angle. So if you can look at your camera, walk those hands down your spine, try and create a 90 degree angle. We're going to open up the left leg to the side while the right leg stays in the center. Inhaling, the exhale, clap back to the center, tap the right. Exhale, right leg out to the side. I'm oh, sorry, inhale, right leg out to the side. Beg your pardon. Exhale, back to the center, tap. Inhale, left leg out to the side. Exhale, back to the center, tap. Inhale, right leg out to the side. Exhale, here we go. Third, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 9. Sit tall, try not to sink into your core, guys. Eight, seven, seven. Sit nice and tall in your core. Six, six. Keeping that 90 degree angle. Five, deep breathing. Five, four, four, three. Nice work. Three. You can do this on your full back if this is too challenging, remember. You can even switch it up. Two. Two, one more each side. Beautiful. 
Now keep your hands with out, take your legs up to the side. We're doing that shoulder stand. Stay tall in your abdominals. What we're gonna do, I know you can't see the top of my feet, but imagine you're in a swimming pool, you're just starting to learn swimming, and you flutter your legs like you, you kick those legs like, ah, oh, no, 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 get down. So we are tight, we are tiny with these flutters. Our knees are locked in, our back is supported, and we hold for 10, keep going. Nine, sit tall in your core. Eight, light in your abdominals, squeeze your tush, push your pelvis towards your face. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take those legs over your head again. Hands will be on the mat. We're gonna roll. Keep your legs as, face, as close to your face as possible. Rolling out of this position. Keep those legs close to your face. Keep them close, close, close. So roll into a flat back. Then your legs will naturally come to standing up tall. We continue to work. Place your hands underneath your lower back. As you bring these legs down, slowly but surely, we're working our core, ladies and gentlemen. We're working it, working it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one. Beautiful work guys, you are done. Shavasana. Let's set those legs lie long, a little bit open, in line with your hips, palms face up towards the sun. Take deep breath, feel that energy surging through your body. Feel your heartbeat, find your power. Relaxing into any tension where it is, dissipates. It is extracted by Mother Earth. We breathe in strength, and we let that strength seep all over our body on our exhale. Beautiful. Bring those knees carefully into your chest, rolling last time side to side, massage the back. And then roll forward, up and back. Just massage, swing those legs however it feels. Nice work, angels. And then we'll come up to sitting, nice and tall. Beautiful. Take your right leg over your left, you can either keep this stretch as it is, or you can bend that left knee behind you. It increases that stretch. Take the left arm around the right knee. Then this right arm is going to come forward. Have your eyes follow your hand. Inhaling up, follow those hands. Exhale back behind you. Place that palm on the mat. And then open up that chest. Pull the knee towards your chest and twist further towards that back hand. I can't see you guys, so I'm hoping that you're doing this. You're really enjoying the stretch. Then take that back arm and circle it back forward. The eyes follow it. Inhale, exhale, and then unwrap your body. Beautiful. Other way around, guys. Swing those legs around. So now we have the left over right. If you want to bend that right leg back behind you, you're more than welcome to. Right arm twists around the left leg. Then we have this left arm. I'm going to follow my hand. Inhale up. Exhale behind as far as you can. Look right over that shoulder and push right into that knee. Beautiful deep twist in our center. Hip, hip stretch, chest stretch, core stretch, phenomenal body stretch, yes. And release, we're gonna follow this arm back. Inhale up, exhale forward, and then unwrap that beautiful body. Let's bring these feet together, like uh, creating like a little diamond. Excuse me, sorry. Uh, place your elbows on your knees. You inhale, sit nice and tall. Exhale, push the elbows into your knees, but try and keep your head where it is. So you feel a really gentle, subtle neck stretch. Squeeze your feet together and inhale, release, sit tall. Exhale, push those elbows into the knees but try and keep that neck where it is, head still, little neck stretch. And release, beautiful. Take your hands underneath those knees, let the weight of your legs fall into your hands and then clap those knees forward and back. Just feeling the weight of the legs, let them relax. Awesome work, guys. Woo, beautiful. And then shake out the legs. Woo, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out any way you want. Woo. And then get those legs comfortable. Let's focus on our shoulders, our top part of the body. Hands on, on top of those shoulders. We're going to rotate big circles. Don't forget to also pull down with those elbows as you go around. A little subtle neck stretch again. Around the other way, guys. Really make them big. Feel the sockets. Feel the um, shoulders rotate in their sockets. Feel that gentle, subtle neck stretch. 
and release. Take the arms to 90 degree angle. We inhale here. Exhale, pull those arms behind so your elbows. Try and touch behind your back and look up at the sun. Then inhale back to 90 degree. Exhale. Two more. One more, actually. <laughs> I like this stretch, obviously. And release. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Take your right hand to your left shoulder. Push down on that shoulder. And then gently drop your head to the right side. Really be gentle. Very subtle neck stretch. Never mess around with your neck. Just be careful. And we're going to lift that head first and release that pressure off the hand. Switch left hand on your right shoulder. Push the left hand down. And then gently drop that head to the left side. Feel that beautiful tiny neck stretch. Also pushing on the shoulder for the skin. Bring the head up first, then release the hand, and then shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Woo! Two big shoulder rolls back, exaggerate. Two. One, and around the way. Here we go. Two. Woo! And one, and release. Ah, oh, shake it, shake it. Let's take a deep breath, inhaling up to the sun with our arms. Here we go. Inhale up to the sun. Palms together, and exhale to your beautiful heart. Closing your eyes, we'll finish this workout with two deep breaths in. First inhale is for loving yourself. Feel that heart expand inside. So much so on your exhale, you release love to the universe. Another deep inhale, respect for your body, mind and spirit. Filled up with love, charge up, feel your heart expand. So much so as we exhale that love, light and respect to the universe. Have a moment. Feel that power in your body. Closing this working circle. We end with a namaste. Thank you, my angels. You're amazing. What a beautiful workout. Hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to creep towards the camera and I'll see you next week for Power Pilates, hopefully in the desert next time. Gosh, these winds. Have an amazing week. You're beautiful. Peace out.